throughout my life, emotions such as anger, sadness, or happiness have always played an important role in my life. People think pursuing happiness is the only and primary objective in our life we need to fulfill, but I think they're virtually wrong. There are beauties in various emotions, yet they're hard to see. There are many crucial purposes in these emotions we need to appreciate and attain. However, people are being blinded because these emotions are always being put before happiness. So what's the definition of happiness? Happiness is an emotion which ranges from contentment to intense joy. Um, in the field of science, happiness is stimulated by four major chemi chemical hormones. Dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphin. The word, the word happiness is derived from the Greek concept of eudaimonia. Philosopher Aristotle stated that man sought for wealth and health, not just for his own sake, but also happiness. If you think happiness is flawless, think again. Do you know that excessive happiness has a negative psychological effect? In 1993 study, Psychologist Howard S. Friedman, along with his colleagues, found that highly excited children, raised by parents and teachers, have a higher risk of mortality. These people are likely being engaged in highly risky activities. And it's complete that it's safer for us to experience happiness in moderation. Okay, let's imagine that the colors of Van Gogh's Starry Night were the emotions. The colors of the painting exhibits an incredible vibrancy and tone. Emotions are like the colors, and life is a canvas that is meant to be painted by them. But what if our life were composed of happiness and other emotions did not exist? This is what it would look like. As you can see, the, the black and white version of the painting lacks the intense, colorful and vibrant characteristic, just like the world with happiness and without other emotions. All the emotions, including happiness, sadness, anger, or disappointment, are the elements that make life more aesthetic, amazing, and mysterious. The feeling of contentment and intense joy is indeed dear in our life. However, we would value it less if it was excessive and have no emotion to balance it. Take this as an example. If you, everyone else, had an infinite amount of wealth, possession, properties, gold, diamonds, or any other rare jewelry, would we find things valuable? The answer is no. We, these things are inherently precious only if they are rare or found with tons of effort. Happiness works the same way. We crave for it to compensate for negative emotions. Without them, happiness would be groundless and unnecessary. As we look up the sky, we can only as we look up the sky, we can only gaze the stars at night, but not in daytime. Bright stars can be seen more clearly and vivid, vividly, when everything around them is dark. This is a great example between happiness and negative emotion. Happiness is visible only when it's contrast to sadness, melancholy, and so on. If this emotion did not exist, we could never consciously feel the presence of happiness. It could not even exist. One day, I thought everything would go great in Dandy. I took my, took my math test, I handed it to my teacher, guess what? I failed it. It was miserable. I saw most of my Asian kids in my class who did on their test splendidly. As an Asian, Asian kid myself, I inquired, am I the only Asian kid here who's academically, academically mediocre or worse? Am I the only Asian here who's, you know, giving myself, my country, my race a bad name? Or am I even Asian? <laughs> <laughs> so then, yeah. The next quarter commenced, and I was determined to be more studious and diligent. Time flight, the quarter ended. I was shocked, stunned, astonished by the scores. I just, I was overjoyed when my academic scores were that high. However, I didn't realize that whenever I 
feel disappointed, I become more motivated to pursue something I want. Negative emotions are like my personal mentors. Through them, I'm more aware of my mistakes and learn from it. As I walk into the path of progress, negative emotions are always there to push me forward, to encourage and motivate me. Negative emotions have molded me into a better person. Beauty. Meanings and purpose of this emotion are inexplicably beautiful. It's time for us to realize the inevitable truth. And it's time for the world to love, appreciate, and embrace them. Thank you.